Hey you guys, Kimmy Tutorial here. I know it's been a good minute, <laughs> but today I'm here to talk about The Gentleman. The sum of the plot, it, it is actually a really simple story. Um, basically, uh, Matthew McConaughey's uh, character, Mickey, has pretty much um, run things in London, uh, you know, of selling marijuana. He's pretty much the king <laughs> of selling it. He's like the main, if you want some good marijuana, you go to this guy. Um, and one day, he just thought to himself, like, you know what, why don't I just quit? Um, but when you know when a king steps down to quit, especially the marijuana game, a position must be filled. And that's when um, a freaking local gang of uh, Chinamen try to take over uh, Mickey's um, um, company. And um, having it ensues. Simple story. Um, and that's probably the, my, my one minor nitpick about it. It's, it is a very simple story. But however, it is actually told pretty interestingly. Like, from when you watch the trailers, um, and what I'm about to say is not a spoiler here. When you watch the trailers, um, you pretty much, um, it shows you that uh, Charlie Hunnam's character and Hugh Grant's character um, pretty much interact with each other. Like, pretty much Hugh Grant it, it comes by and tells Charlie Hunnam, like, hey, you're, you're, um, you work with Mickey, right? Well, uh, uh, someone's gonna off your boss. <laughs> um... And pretty much Charlie Hunnam how asks, like, how do you know this? Um, Hugh Grant pretty much goes on to tell, you know, it pretty much, uh, he goes on to tell you, the story is, like, how he got to know this information. But here's the thing. It's told to you, like, he's selling a script to a movie. Yeah, literally, it, it is literally um, a script sales pitch. It, it is a script pitch. Uh, that's this, how this whole movie is told. And for a minute, again, when you see the trailer, like, I thought to myself, like, oh, okay, this is going to go through this, you know, it's got, it, it is a basic story, it is a, you know, someone trying to take over, you know, like, um, uh, Matthew McConaughey's, uh, you know, drug ring, you know, um, and of course, um, you know, the hilarity ensues, um, it's going to be told with some, some minor flashbacks, but come to think of it, most of this movie is a whole flashback, but not technically a flashback, it is told, like, as if uh, Hugh Grant was trying to sell a movie, <laughs> which is pretty interesting, and I found a lot of humor into it. And speaking of humor, uh, Charlie Hunnam and Hugh Grant together are freaking hilarious. Like I, I love their interactions. Like Charlie Hunnam's character is just fed up with Hugh Grant at this point. He's like, dude, you just show up in the middle of my house, and you literally just went over like a good, like close to a, to a two hour movie. <laughs> I just really enjoyed it. And, um, so that's what I can say with most of these characters that they're really charming. <laughs> and um, the only thing, um, kind of, uh, or as most of the characters are really charming, the only one I didn't find that interesting, like he was cool, but not that interesting, was Matthew McConaughey. Like, um, he, he was just your basic, like, uh, drug ring boss that just wants to get out of the game and he just tries to sell his drugs. But. That's pretty much his only character. Everyone else is, has, has, is really interesting. Like, um, there, uh, Charlie Hunnam, again, he is the, he is Mickey's second guy. Um, he pretty much cleans house and, uh, he's just really, like, just really stern and all that stuff. Just kind of fed up with everyone. He just wants to get the job done. Um, Hugh Grant's character is just a little bit of an oddball who is pretty much just a sleazy guy trying to, you know, Pretty much just choose the side that's winning, almost. Um, and again, it's just this fascination with movies that is kind of charming. Colin Farrell, um, he plays um, he plays a character named Coach, if I'm if I'm correct. Um, he pretty much his character is uh, he's pretty uh, he's probably uh, my favorite character in this whole movie. Um, pretty much, he uh, helps like uh, bad kids turn good by you know teaching them boxing, <laughs> and his kids are really hilarious. Um, and it, like I said, everyone has like the little quirks, but really, it is a really fun movie, guys. Um, the only thing is just holding it back. It's just, it is just a very simple story in the long run. I think like, but I guess until like you get closer to the end, um, uh, of the film, like it's kind of different, but it's something, it's something that you haven't seen before. Um, I mentioned them um, on my Instagram and also, um, on, in my YouTube, uh, I did like a little, um first reaction and um i mentioned that like uh if from what i heard from other viewers uh, if you like snatch you'll definitely love this movie i haven't seen seen snatch but watching this movie and if everyone's comparing the two 
yeah, I'm kind of down to watch this match now. <laughs> um, but uh, anyways, but it is a really fun movie. It has a lot of dark humor. Um, there's especially like there's a scene with a pig. I'm not going to go any further than that. And um, they don't show you anything, but just their <laughs> just the characters reactions are really hilarious. I was just dying. I love jokes like that. Like they don't show you. It's just they leave your imagination to to you uh, to react. Um but yeah, overall, I don't really have any um, minor nitpicks. It just, again, it's just... Um, by the way, I was actually surprised how short it was. Like, it's a little under two hours. It was like, a, like I think, like an hour and 50 minutes? 52, if I'm correct. But um, overall, guys, I really had a good time with um, <laughs> with The Gentleman. Again, a really funny title when most of the time these guys are not really that, you know, generally. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I highly recommend you catch this in theaters. Um... So, all, again, with those little minor nitpicks that I had, again, with Matthew McConaughey's bland character, and, again, a very simple story. Again, I really have fun, and um, I'm going to give Gentleman a 4 out of 5. Um, again, it's so close to being a 5 out of 5 for me, guys. But, again, it's just a very uh, basic story, something I've... Some of the stuff I haven't seen before, but, again, I really enjoyed the characters and the interactions. And, again, I just love how the story was told, like if someone was trying to sell you a script <laughs> to a movie. Um, but let me know in the comments below, guys. Uh, have you guys seen The Gentleman? What do you guys think? Are you interested in watching it? But again, and um, of course, if you want to keep up to date with my channel, hit the little bell icon. And of course, follow me on Instagram if you want to see some behind the scenes stuff or maybe some, um, you get some early views of my reactions. But anyways, guys, I'll catch you guys next time.